day, everybody. This is Darren the Devil, back with Devilish Sense. Today, I'm going over a fragrance for all of those who like to stand out. If you have a fear of being average, then stay tuned. Ah. I'm going over a fragrance called The Dark Side. So I'm bringing a little bit of darkness to the community today. And in the Devil's Lair, I thought it would be a perfect opportunity to bring the darkness with this perfume. This was created in 2019, the tail end of 2019, with the leather luxury brand Taiga from Germany. And Geza Schoen did a great job to uh, be a little bit different since this fragrance is inspired by the fear of being average. Let me go, ho go ahead and go over the presentation real fast with you guys. Presentation for the dark side. It only came in a 50 ml bottle for 120 euros. So that comes out to about 130 US. Uh, it wasn't available in the US until 2020. I did keep my eyes out since this was a Geza Schoen uh, creation. And for this fragrance, Geza Schoen did collaborate with two year for two years with the owner of Taiga to create this fragrance. It was the only fragrance that Taiga has made so far. And like I said, Taiga is a luxury leather brand from Germany. You can check out their fashion on their website or their fragrance as well uh, if you want more information. So, uh... Like I said, Geza Schoen collaborated with the owner of Taiga for two years to produce this fragrance with notes of intoxicating marijuana, aphrodisiac oud, pink pepper, leather, and incense. It was inspired by the fear of being average, as I said. Now let me go ahead and get into the review. I'm back, everybody. So, let me go ahead and do a quick spray for you guys. So, I wouldn't pick it up by the cap. I mean, yeah, <laughs> don't do it, guys. So, let me go ahead and do a quick spray. Hopefully you can see this. Woo, nice sprayer. Just gets the whole arm covered there. Ah. <laughs> okay. So, when you first spray this on, it is a very spicy, woody concoction. It starts off with a very dark leather and a black and pink pepper that kind of dominates this composition. It's very dark and spicy, and you do get a little bit of woods in the background, maybe a little bit of patchouli, which patchouli is not listed. But you do get a green, dense cannabis accord mixing in with this leather and this spicy pink pepper as well. And this leaves a beautiful sillage in uh, the winter time, in cold weather, fall, uh, dark nights out. You want something that's going to leave a beautiful, sexy sillage, then wear this because it will help you stand out. I think it is a little bit more masculine leaning because the leather and the oud and the cannabis, it is a synthetic oud, but the cannabis with the leather and the pepper brings a spicy, masculine, woody character that would might... Uh, it might be a fragrance for a more confident woman. Uh, so I will say this fragrance doesn't really transition much uh, throughout the mid because you're just left with that leather, pink pepper, and that cannabis is slightly swaying back and forth. This is mostly just a leather-centric fragrance, and I believe Geza Schoen did a great job to not be like other leather fragrances out there. He did add some spice, that woody element, but what really helps this stick out is that cannabis accord. And the notes in here, even though it is an oud, it's such a different type of oud. It's, it's Geza Schoen's aphrodisiac oud, and he did an amazing job with it. 
So as I did say, it does not change very much, but in the dry down, what you get, I got it drying down on this arm here, it starts to get a little bit more aromatic because you start to get Geza Schoen's signature ISOE Super. And it kind of lends a hand into the muskiness that this is drying down to because what this gets to is a leathery, woody, spicy, uh, musky fragrance in the very dry down. And the aromatic ISOE Super that's, that's drying down in here it does help the leather actually stick out with that cannabis accord as well. Like on my clothing, you get this uh, aromatic, musky, spicy leather that you're getting off the off your clothes. But when you smell it straight up, it's a lot more of those woody qualities. But this is more. This fragrance is more about the sillage and the bubble. It doesn't leave a very big sillage. It's about two feet, maybe, at the strongest point after you spray it on. But that quickly becomes a, a sexy, seductive skin scent that leaves a little bubble around you. And that's the kind of scent that this just that you want because you can walk by somebody in the cold, crisp air, and they will definitely smell your sillage and it comes off very sexy comes off very confident and when you're wearing this you feel sexy and confident and you feel like a man that knows what he wants so if that sounds interesting to you then please check out the dark side by taiga I thought that 120 euros or about 130 for a 50 ml is very good for this fragrance because you only need about three sprays. I do one on each arm, one on the back, and one on right here because I am a devilish sprayer, so I do like to stand out. And <clears throat> this is the type of fragrance when I do smell it, I get whiffs throughout the day. The ISOE Super helps this sway back and forth between the different types of qualities, uh, between the woodiness, the spiciness, the leather, and you start to get the green in there from that cannabis. Definitely a great composition. One of my favorite uh, sexy musk fragrances and Oxide by Taiga. Please check it out. And if this is your first time here, I would like to welcome you to Devilish Scents. I go by Darren the Devil. This video was is for all the sinners, rebels, and nocturnists. If this is your first time here, like I said, please leave a like and subscribe. If you're already locked with the devil, thanks for coming back. I appreciate all your support, and I hope to see you guys in the next review. Ah.